Okay, so what's going on in our world? Something very, very strange. All to do with the new Madrid fault line, I believe. Well, let's take a look at something here. Vantage Corporation awarded contract to build 5 million casket liners. 5 million? Don't you think that's a bit weird? I wonder why? Let's move on. As you can see, there's a guy demonstrating here. He's, well, not laid in it, but maybe two bodies, three bodies, four bodies could fit in there. Here we are looking at Madison, Georgia. You can see all the caskets, basically thousands upon thousands of them all lined up. Again, further down the road, you can see, again, the caskets all lined up. Apparently, also, they are in Atlanta as well. Apparently, the U.S. Department of Highland Secu um, Homeland Security have required 14 million body bags and also 140 million long-life meals. Why? Let's take a look at the FEMA, Federal Emergency Management Agency. U.S. citizens have been held at FEMA camps. FEMA has been given the authority to declare martial law. I don't see anything about a FEMA in our Constitution. Military bases in this country have been set aside as possible internment camps. The government speaks about them. It, uh, there's funding for them. There are contracts that are being issued for the construction of these camps. You know, if they need to you get hold of people that they feel are a threat to their existence, they will. If they need some place to put them, they will. Everything is being turned into one giant prison grid. And it is stunning, particularly to hear President Obama claim the power to keep people in prison indefinitely with no charges against them, no conviction, no sentence, just imprisonment. Okay, well, let's take a look at this. Now, this. Well, first of all, let's pay attention to the date. This year, 1st of the 20th, 2011, the Contracting Office, Department of Homeland Security, Federal Emergency Management Agency. Hmm. Sounds all too weird. Basically, uh, there's a description here. Now, it's asking specific things from businesses that supply food. Um, especially long life food, uh, you'll be able to check all this out uh, as I'm highlighting here in the link. Uh, if you go to this address, it will give a whole lot more details, you can read on about it. Let's go to the link quickly and have a quick browse through this. Again, this is the agency US Department of Homeland Security, the office is the FEMA Federal Emergency Management Agency. And basically this is a questionnaire that they gave out to the people. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, procures and stores pre-packaged commercial meals to support readiness capability for immediate distribution to disaster survivors routinely. The purpose of this request for information is to identify sources of supply for meals in support of disaster relief efforts based on a catastrophic disaster event within the new Madrid fault system for a survivor population of 7 million to be utilized for the sustained life during a 10 period of operations. FEMA is considering the following specifications 14 million meals per day. Now basically on the next line you're it's giving like sort of thing of what they require um, here you can see home chicken noodles, potatoes, vegetarian pasta. And then as it goes further down, it's just it's a questionnaire asking the suppliers, can they meet the needs for this large quantity? Again, have a look at the date there. Uh, let's take a look at these, uh, these caskets again, a little documentary. We asked him for permission if we could look around and he said yes, so we did. We're just getting a, an idea for the size of these boxes. What could these boxes be used for? Well, they're called casket liners. And that's an interesting term, isn't it? The casket liner. When I first heard the term casket liner, I thought perhaps a lining for a casket. But this is too big to be on the inside of a casket. So, Certainly, this could be used as a casket. This is an inexpensive casket. And you can see the size here. There's lots of room. Uh, I think 
my friends here, we could all probably get inside and it might be a little cozy, but we'd fit just fine. Which tells me that these liners can be used for more than just one. Now, could this be because of the new Madrid fault line? Look at the water. Look how it's separated the United States. It's completely cutting it in half. Something is seriously wrong. Do the government know something that we don't know? This is why they're preparing. Listen, people, I ask you, be safe. Feel safe. And you may choose to believe this. You may choose not to believe it. But that is entirely up to you. But really... I don't believe a word the government tell us. They are all utter liars.